right. Are you ready for this? Because I sure am. I've got this. I've got this. Now that I got my mojo back, it was time for me to get back into the real world to resume where I had last left off. I scheduled my first live shows in years, and to my surprise, the venue sold out in less than a week. The pressure was on. My first comeback in years. I knew I would really have to wow my fans. Failure was not an option. And you know what? I was ready for this. But to my surprise, the audience were also super ready for this. After years forced into a pandemic silence, the people were ready to get back out to what we once remembered as normal. The shows were a super success. I was back on track and it felt magical again. But before I got here, I really needed to make sure I was ready to come back to all of this. After years being away from the pandemic silence, I really needed to challenge myself, make sure I was ready, test my strength before I returned to life as I once remembered. I needed to reconnect with mother nature. I needed to embark on a spiritual journey to rediscover myself, revalidate my purpose and magic, and renew my vows as a magician. I decided to elevate myself to the highest point possible in Japan to have a clear perspective of my life. I decided to climb Mount Fuji. Mountain Fuji, the sacred landmark of Japan, is the most popular attraction visited by over 300,000 climbers every year. Considering it can only be accessed for just two months of the year, that's a pretty impressive number. It is the most climbed mountain in the entire world and an amazing one. Trust me, I know. It's not my first time to the top. Good morning, it's September 9th, 2022, and I am here with my buddy Kakurai, and we are on our way to Mount Fuji. Uh, this is my actual fifth time to go to Mount Fuji, to go to the very top, more on that later. Uh, the rain is definitely not making it a very beautiful day to make our trip to Shizuoka, but uh, regardless, it's gonna be very exciting. All right, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mountain Fuji. 3,776 meters to the very top. Uh, the conditions are actually looking really good. Uh, we were anticipating rain showers, thunderstorms today, but actually it's uh, really perfect. It's not too hot, not too humid, not raining. Last year it was completely raining all the way to the top of the mountain and all the way back. Couldn't see any sunrise, it was wet, it was cold, it was freezing. Uh, it was hard, <laughs> but this year is looking really good. Big reveal. Now, it's important to have a good support team on your journey. For me, I've been hiking up with my good friends who joins me all the way from Osaka, Japan. Your experience is really only as good as the people who you surround yourself with. So make sure to choose good friends and people you can really trust. Every year we climb out Mount Fuji. Before we climb, uh, we gather at a unagi restaurant here in Shizuoka. This is the unagi shop. Small mom and papa shop. We come here every year. Best unagi in town. Unagi. It is eaten all year round and is especially famous here in Shizuoka Prefecture. Super delicious, filled with healthy vitamins and nutrients, packed with calories. This meal will enhance our stamina, vitality, and give us the strength to make our journey to the top. The sound of happiness, pure silence. <laughs> that was really good. One of the best unagis I've ever had in my life. Oh, the weather's good too. Best condition. Now that we're all full, we're ready to uh, hike it up.
so there is a road that leads to Mount Fuji and the streets have been engraved. I'm not sure if it's called engraved or beveled or, uh, here we go, there's the music note. Okay, let's, let's spend this moment in silence. <laughs> oh my god so we don't see anything on the roads i thought there'd be like some color codes or something but the i guess the, some technology and the way that the tires go over the by uh the, the the road and it creates this uh vibration and you can hear it inside the car it's a famous japanese yeah. song right um, well that was really awesome uh, if we're lucky we'll get to hear it again on the way back down 2,020 meters above sea level. <sighs> the air is really thin. We have arrived. So uh, we're gonna get our gear on and. Dasaina. Um... <laughs> Dasaina. Yeah. All right, once again, it's September 9th and the time is exactly 5 p.m. We are here at the fifth station of Mount Fuji. We are already above the clouds. The air already feels really thin, but it's a beautiful day. And we are about to climb to the very top of that mountain, the highest point of Japan. All right, Yuki. <laughs> this is Yuki, guys. <laughs> You're dressed to climb out Mount Fuji. How is this <laughs> You're gonna be cold. Somebody, yeah, somebody? No, no, no. yeah, it's really warm right now. Alright, so every year we gather here and we take a photo before we begin and we take a photo when we return. So oh, if I'm short of breath, it's because the air is really thin. Alright. Let me introduce you to my good friend Teru. This guy is the perfect role model. He is super kind to everyone, but yet he finds a way to encourage and challenge ourselves to push our limits. Although we do have a tour guide, Teru is the ideal leader to navigate us on our journey. <laughs> it's been an honor to climb with Teru over the years. But more importantly, okay. I always love seeing newcomers okay. join in for their first time. So we are here and we're gonna make our way all the way this way. I think we're going this way, either way. We're going up and we're gonna go all the way up until we get to the Kyugo Min, where is it? Uh, oh, here, uh, eighth level housing right here. Then we're gonna take a little rest and at three in the morning, we'll make our way to the crater. All right, let's go. 5.05 p.m. Departuring 5th level! Okay. 12 hours till we get to the top of the mountain. I love this part of the forest. So I want you to meet my friend Saku. Saku-san has been our tour guide through our journey over the years to Mount Fuji. And um, this guy, how many times do you go up and down every year? So this guy climbs Mount Fuji up and down, uh, averaging about 50 trips per summer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so any advice? Advice? Yeah, uh. for people who might want to come to Mount Fuji. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. I just got to keep walking it through. And good advice indeed. I took what he said as a metaphor to our life challenges. Keep walking through no matter how hard it gets. Breathtaking. 
so amazing. So this is one of my favorite paths to pass through. In the morning, there's all this like mist, dew, and it looks like a smoke machine on stage or something has been blown out. Oh, right now it's uh, clear. Give up to the same as <laughs> Anyone want to give up? <laughs> Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage back in 2013, the beautiful appearance of Mount Fuji has long been worshipped and continues to be a source of art with shrines that was built back in the early 16th century. So, we're just past the fifth, uh, nearly the sixth station, and this lady who <laughs> works here, she recognized me and asked me for a photo. Tomo, yadesuke. Do you have any advice from my viewers? Uh, from the seventh station, yeah. the road becomes rocky. Uh -huh. So uh, after oh, 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 rain, oh, oh. Uh, it becomes slippery. So, okay. so take note. Uh, proper shoes, proper gear, yeah. make sure you have plenty of water. Yeah. And uh, always take safety precautions because it is quite dangerous. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. And that's where we're going, all the way up there. I overheard the volunteer worker wishing she could see my magic. Good thing I had a pack of cards on me. Please come. I put them. Okay. Front card is different. Front card is different. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You never know when there's an audience waiting to want some magic. Always carry a deck of cards with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki's being made fun for before bringing a sleeping bag. <laughs> his bag's too heavy, so we're uh, dividing his equipment, his luggage, so that we can uh, <laughs> make it his light, his weight load lighter. Oh my God, I can't speak. But there's really no need to speak. The hike is truly magical. You keep to yourself and take in each and every moment. I have to say this is probably one of the best climbs that I've done with the weather and the moon. Full moon, so gorgeous. It's too bad that we're not, oh, hold on. Gotta get the zoom on this. Come on. There it goes. Yeah, look at that. The air was getting thinner and thinner the higher we got. It was important to regulate your breathing. Breathe in, breathe out. The sun was settling fast, and from my experience in the past, the weather can change at any given moment. Hey. Another moment to capture before our journey continues. We were still only at the sixth level with yet hours ahead of us. We embraced every moment, one step at a time. This was not looking good. Our friend Yuki was already in need of help. This could potentially lead into a big problem. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. We all had confidence in Yuki. We've seen this before. We knew that there was nothing that Yuki could not overcome. As my friend Tedu said earlier, it was important to embrace this journey with a smile, no matter how hard. <sighs> 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 
However, underneath everyone's smiles, it was really tough. Even I was struggling. I can only imagine what Yuki was going through. It was important to keep our spirits up, keep strong, and as our tour guide Sakusan said, keep walking through. It seems so near. Yeah, it's so far. We're not even at the sixth level yet. We're about 2,700 meters above sea level. Oh, the air is really thin. We gotta keep taking short breaks. Keep uh, composing ourselves. A wise man once said, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. I've been on this journey many times before, and as exhausted as we already were, this journey really has only just begun. Full moon. That's amazing. Okay. Hey, right, let's go. All right, we're getting to the part where um, it's gonna get a little rocky. We all have our gloves on right now. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to film. Um, show you just a little bit of what we're trying to climb up. All right, let's go. Okay, this part is still okay because I can use my legs to climb up. <laughs> but um, it is quite steep. I remember last year, there was areas we had to uh, really use both hands and feet to really climb. Okay. <sighs> hey, Teru. Uh, How are you? Hey! It's the best thing to do today. I've been able to climb the best the best condition. The best, the best leader, leadership. Yeah, leader. Let me tell you a little bit more about my friend Teru. Along my best friend Koji, we are the three amigos and we have done a lot together. From surfing to skydiving, partaking in Japanese festivities, we've dived incredible seas, ran relay marathons, even received top awards. Wild hiking adventures around the world, insane food trips, you name it, we have probably done it. Every adventure is a magical moment in time that makes me who I am. And I am so blessed to have people like Teru and Koji in my life that I can call friends. I can go on and on about this, but let's save those stories for another time. Now, back to our hike. So, All right. Oy. All right. Let's do it. So we're past 3,000 meters above sea level, and um, it's really dangerous where we're at right now. If you just kind of have a quick look at what my friends are going through, um, I think I'm holding up the traffic, so I'm gonna try to go up a little bit. Hold on. So this is not a good idea. I've got a flashlight in my left hand, and the camera in my right hand. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, but anyway. We're doing a really great job keeping up the pace of uh, moving forward. Uh, oh my god. Oh. Um, once we get to the eighth level, we're gonna take a break. And uh, you know, I think everybody's spirits and energy is so great. Look at that moon behind me. Where is it? Oh, the, oh, where it is? There it is. Oh. Okay. Hey, you can do it. Come on, Yuki. Good job. All right, so. Uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna stop and practice uh, safety uh, climbing this mountain. <laughs> okay. Yuki, you're my inspiration. And last year, we were struggling to get up to mount, get up the mountain, but you did it one step at a time. And I totally respect you that you came back a second time this year, and you're totally owning it, man. We're at uh, level number eight. 
Hi, <laughs> やっと着いた。We are gonna get some. Hi, thank you. We're gonna have some hot cup of noodle, some curry rice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna taste so good. And、uh, just waiting for the rest of our team to come up. <sighs> We made it. Are you feeling tiger?、Yeah. <laughs> All right. We、yeah. made it. Feels good. はい。So it's 10 30 at night, and we have to be quiet because there's a lot of people sleeping. And we have to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning to start our climb at 2 30. But I made some new friends.、Uh, um, they know who I am, so I'm going to show them some magic. Magic is in there. トランクありますで好きなやつどうですかちょっと待ってくださいはどうですかこれでいいのおきっすまで名前がおきっすまでちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとちょっとオーケー、入りましたね。ワン、ツー、ツー、一番上に上がるマジックなんです
もう一回もう一回もう一回もう一回やりましょう今度はカード曲げましょうカード曲がりますよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくださいよく見てくこの輪ゴムで全部こうやって止めちゃう。この状態でカードが一番上に上がります。この状態で一番上に上がります。いますよ。こっち。取れないんです。なので、永遠に残りますので、<笑>今日の記念にこれをキープしておいてください。<笑>皆さん、ありがとうございます。<笑> I think they're really happy. So, if you ever come to Mount Fuji and you come to the eighth level, my card, this moment will be documented forever, will be up there. Okay. <laughs> It was time to rest, and this was quite the upgrade compared to my previous trips. I was in a spacious, warm, and comfortable environment. I'm actually looking forward to a good rest. Previously, on my trip to Mount Fuji, I felt like I was packed in a can of sardines as my teammates snored and kept me wide awake all night long. So, I was actually looking forward to a good rest. Good night, everyone. It's 2 15 in the morning. Couldn't sleep at all. I don't know if it's insomnia or just excited to be up. Every time I come to Fuji Sun, I can't sleep. <laughs> so, this is an all nighter for me, but I do have to say that lying down has been extremely helpful to rest my muscles. Oh man, I'm sore.、Um, All right, we're gonna, it's, it's a gorgeous day outside, so really looking forward to the sunrise.、Uh, yeah. All right, let's go. Thank you very much. We still had over 600 meters to climb, and as clear as the night was, the oxygen in the air was getting thinner and harder to breathe. The temperature was dropping cold and the hike to the peak was getting extremely dangerous. As sleepy as I was, my adrenaline started to kick in with excitement that we were only hours away from our goal. Every moment leading to this point would just be the rehearsal, and now it was showtime to the top. I reflected on why I was doing this climb again, not because my friends invited me, nor because it was what others were doing. This journey was a passage of right to rediscover myself, to prepare me for the years to come. The time is 3 30 in the morning, and as you can see, everyone's climbing up, rushing to reach the top before the sunrise. Everybody's struggling in their own ways. If somebody said they're not struggling, that would be a lie. This is really hard. <laughs> Failure was not an option. I needed to see this through, and as tired and exhausted as I was, I kept reminding myself of these three words I've got this, I've got this, I've got this.、Yeah. And every time I come up here, it gets a little bit easier, but it's still really tough. <clears throat> I think the biggest challenge this time for me is、uh, trying to learn to be an influencer. <laughs> Man. I have high respects for influencers trying to manipulate all these cameras and carry batteries and I'm always trying to capture the moment. It's freaking tough. It really is, man. <laughs> But、um, I think if this was my first trip to Mount Fuji and I was trying to do this, there's no way. There's no way I would survive that. But this one, I think I'm doing pretty good.、Uh, Oh, it's really cold up here. The key is, the key is、um, 
not to stop too long to the point where your sweat starts to get cold and your body temperature goes down. You need to just take short breaks here and there and keep your body temperature regulated, but not sweat too much. Okay. Almost there. All right, 8.5. <sighs> All right. We were so close to the top, yet so far. We were all feeling it. The short breaks started to increase. Many were getting hypoxia sickness, which is the lack of oxygen to the brain, which causes difficulty breathing, rapid heart rates, and confusion. As prepared as I was for it, it was still hard. It's really congested. It's a lot of traffic trying to get up the tra trail. So we're gonna take a little break, try to pace ourselves. Otherwise, once we go into that flow of traffic, there's no stopping. And we're gonna go all the way to the top. You can do it. Let's do it. They get it, they get it. Uh, we're almost at the ninth station. Uh, all right. All right. You got it. Oh, Such a boss. Pushing him all the way, man. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh, we're almost at the top. <sighs> okay. 100 more meters. Oh. To the ninth station, that is. Okay. Oh, where are we? 3,600 meters. Oh, all right. Uh, wow, man, it's getting tougher and tougher out here, man. But the, there's major traffic to get to the top. I think everybody's winded. Um, but, um, <clears throat> It's great because everybody's encouraging other group members. Oh, oh man, sun's coming out. It's beautiful. Such great weather. Come on! Come on! Fight though. <sighs> Come on, Yuki. You got it. Yeah. Yes. I see it. Oh my goodness. Just a, another like 50 feet. I made it. Oh. We're at the one. All right. We made it before the sun came out. Oh. Absolutely spectacular. Okay. Yeah. Take a little rest and uh, get ready for the big welcoming of the sun. <laughs> The hardship finally was lifted off our souls as we passed through the gateway of heaven and we all knew that we would be all right. We were all living in our own moments. Got it. This is the top. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. 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 We
。もうこれ雪ドキュメンタリーになさってるよ。<笑><笑>すごい。As I embraced Mother Nature's beauty, I had a lot on my mind. I reflected my journey leading me here, not just to the top of this mountain, but my entire life leading me to this point in time. I felt extremely humbled and lucky to be here healthy and alive. It was an emotional moment. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Sunrise, September 9th, 2022. The time is 5 18 a.m. We have conquered the impossible. Wow. This journey. The top of Mount Fuji is about achieving the unachievable. What seems to be impossible, nothing is impossible. Every day I am possible. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm lost for words. I thought I would have something smarter to talk about, but. Kind of speechless right now. <laughs> It was at this moment of the sunrise I silently prayed and thanked the universe. I am truly blessed to have magic in my life. The moment was magical and beyond words. I absorbed and took it all in. I was enlightened once again, ready to continue on my journey back as I validated my purpose in life in magic. Okay. Today, we're doing something different. We're going to the highest point of Mount Fuji so that we can say that we climbed 3,776 meters to the very top of Fuji Summit. It's actually freezing. Oh, we can actually see the crater. Oh my god, this is amazing. Wow, look at that. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's intense. Let's see if I can get a wide shot. If this volcano were to erupt,、uh, we would be gone. It would、uh, reach all the way to Tokyo. And we would perish from this earth. <laughs> we did it. はい。それでね、力とね。それでね、達成する気持ちと、それがみんなにみんなに伝わって達成できた。あ、こんな感動することはないやろ。これで今年1年もみんな頑張れると思うし、自分に勝つことを覚えたと思う。ね、1年間自
All right, check this out. This is what I showed everyone at the top of Mount Fuji. I took the five yen Goyen coin and the 1,000 yen note, and I simply threw the coin right into the bill. That's right, it is printed on there. Making this the perfect trick to do at the very top of Mount Fuji. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to close off this video by saying that um, it was a, an amazing, amazing trip, hike to the summit, Fuji Summit. Um, obviously, going downhill is a lot tougher. If you've ever hiked, um, you would know what I'm talking about. Um, my uh, tour, um, God damn it, I don't even know what it's called in English. Uh, my Hangetsuban um, earlier this year. And I was told by the doctor that I have to do a knee surgery, but I refused to do so and uh, strengthened my muscles surrounding my knee so that I could prepare for this hike. Um, oh, here we go, we're going into the clouds. This is the first time I've been down this road. Okay, where were we? So, uh, in conclusion, um, oh, okay, it's dangerous. I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> I'll do another conclusion later. Okay, bye. I'm tired. Sorry, excuse my language. I'm really tired. Little baby steps. And baby steps it was for another five hours as we descended back to base. <laughs> but the journey was not over. The Fuji experience ends when we all get back home safely. The hardship was worth it again. I am ready to resume where I had last left off. Not knowing exactly where the winds will blow, I am ready to soar the skies once again. And now more than ever, I know that there's nothing I can't overcome. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. And that concludes this episode. I know it was a little bit long, but I hope you've liked it. Make sure to show your love, like and comment below. And before I leave you, remember, you've got this. We've all got it. Keep up the good work, guys, and I'll see you all on the next episode. Oh, I just...